you would have thought that retrieving a PWC from the water was the easy bit, but most people have a lot of trouble with it. Retrieving your ski is usually done at the end of the day when you're tired, so it's very important to keep your wits about you as little errors can cost you. The safest and easiest way is to drive your ski onto the trailer, but there are a few things you can do to make this easier. First and most importantly is to watch the conditions. We have currents, tide, wind, waves and other boaties around you. Once your trailer is in position, taking into account the conditions around you, line your ski up to the trailer in the water for about 20 feet out. Remember, even at idle, a ski has forward momentum, and this is the reason most find it hard to line up their skis. This may sound obvious, but it's where most people come unstuck. It causes people to oversteer, overthrottle, and generally get into a mess. To prevent this, it's critical to use your reverse lever. All modern PWCs have them. Just feather the leather to a point just before reverse and this will keep you in practically neutral position and allow you to slowly manoeuvre forward. It may seem slow but will mean you only need to make minor steering adjustments. From there it's as simple as using your reverse lever like a throttle and guiding the ski on. Now remember, like anything, this will become easier the more practice you have. But as always, take your time and most importantly, stay calm. If on a skid trailer like this one, just jump off and secure your trailer using the winch and chain. If on a roller trailer, it's a bit trickier as you'll need to leave the engine running to keep the ski in place. From there, all that's left to do is drive out and head to the nearest tap. This can be a servo or even at home if it's easier. Just undo the bungs and connect the hose to the ski. It is vitally important the tap is not running if the ski is not running, because if it is, you can potentially destroy your engine. Great reason to ensure the tap is off. Start your ski, then turn on the water. Ensure it's out the pump and exhaust outlet. Just apply your throttle a couple of times and run for 60 to 90 seconds. This will flush out the ski. Turn off the tap while the engine's running. Throttle again and run for another 20 seconds. Turn the ski off, disconnect and you're done. If you do this every time you ride, you'll give your ski a much longer life. From there, just give the ski and trailer a quick wash and you're done. 